Hey my lovely diamond cubs, today on Berry Q Nails, we are going to be testing base and top coats to see which one performs better. Stick around and let's see. This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hello, my lovely diamond cubs. Welcome back to Berry Q Nails. I am so happy to have y'all here. For all the new people that are just stumbling across our little channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Pedro. This is Berry Q Nails. And we like to do reviews, nail applications, kiss kiss, and just, you know, chit chat, have fun. I love to converse back and forth in the comments. So please hit that bell notification after you subscribe to make sure you are aware of any videos I post. Because if you're subscribed, I hope you want to see some more of us. Some more of us. So anyway, so this is the set I'm wearing here. Isn't it cute? A little different. Just something simple on the right hand because y'all know I'm right handed. So um, y'all see this set is gone. But anyway. The highlight of today's video is we are testing top coats to see how good they are, right? So, to, I'm actually doing, firstly, a fabulous unboxing of the Born Pretty Base Gel and Super Top Coat. It doesn't say super on there, but it's actually super top coat. And it says 45 plus days of long brightness last ultra bright and high glossy 15 ml bottles it gives you some instructions on the side of how to prep and everything cure under the lamp for 60 seconds for a complete dry you know you get your pretty normal standard stuff on the back of the package the expiration date is three years of course um i love the packaging i love this iridescence it's so pretty but anyway, so we're going to take this out. I want y'all to see how it looks. I, look at that. Aren't they nice? I think these bottles are gorgeous. They're 15 mLs. This is the base. I love that it says the Born Pretty here. And it says base gel on the side on the actual bottle. Has the directions on the back. I like when... There are directions on the actual product. I'm not a big fan of companies that send things, um, first of all, without directions in a pamphlet. And if they don't, don't provide that, then at least put it on the bottle. So as you've seen with previous Born Pretty um, unboxings and some of the nail sets that I've done with them, they've always come with a little booklet that just shows everything about how to apply and how to do things like that. So I like that they include the directions on the back. So that's the base. And here is the lovely top coat. Same thing. This one actually has a little gold. That's the difference. A little gold on there instead of this one, which is silver. So that's kind of cool to differentiate. So. Today, we are going to be doing a little comparison. A comparison. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use Born Pretty's gorgeous color from their Neon Garden Ice Jelly Collection. This is number one, and this is the swatch. I figured, why not? I love green and we're still in the summer everything is looking mad green right now because it is raining like crazy so I'm gonna use the base gel from Born Pretty on one swatch and use the Born Pretty gel and then I'm going to use the mystery base coat and mystery top coat on the other swatch stick you know still with the color and then we're gonna just put it up a little test, just so y'all can see. All right, so give me one second, and then I'll be right with y'all. All right, so first I just wanna label these so I don't get all messed up. 
So this one is just gonna be B P top face. I guess that says face. And then O T H for other top face. All right, cool. All right, so we are starting with the other base, and just gonna apply a thin layer. So it does self level, it does all that good stuff. Now let's take the Born Pretty. Oh, look at that brush, hold on, hold on now. You all see the brush? Oh, that's nice. I've never seen a brush like that. But yeah, look at that. Do you see? Like it's. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's like a little thinner or something at the end. All right, so we're gonna let these cure for 60 seconds. So I was checking and apparently, so these bristles, the way that they're made, can you see? They're flat fiber bristles, and they make a airy, They make it easier to control the amount of gel, which you know what it actually does. Um, it's flexible, and its toughness ensures control over the entire coating range that you're actually going to be using. And that precise brush tip ensures that the gel doesn't overflow to your sidewalls or into your cuticle. Of course, with proper application. So give me one second. All right, these are done. They're done baking. All right, so we're gonna start with the other swatch stick using the beautiful Born Pretty 01 from the Neon Garden Ice Jelly Collection. I loved this color when I swatched it the first time. It's such a beautiful green. It looked so pretty on my pride set. If y'all didn't see that video, I'm gonna try to link it up there or up there somewhere. Or if not, I'll just put it in the description box. <laughs> uh, but um, okay, so this is applying nice. It is allowing the Born Pretty gel to glide on very well. It looks gorge. Looks nice. So I'm gonna do one coat here, one coat on the Born Pretty swatch stick. Y'all hear them dogs tip tipping across the floors as always. All right, so. So here's the Born Pretty, and here's this one. I don't see that the base coat makes any difference in terms of the color. All right, but we're gonna let these cure. I'm gonna do a second coat, and then we'll be back. All right, so we got two coats 
of that Born Pretty Neon Garden Ice Jelly 01 on both of these swatches. The top one, I'm using a base coat from another brand. And on the bottom one, I am using the base coat and top coat from Born Pretty's upgraded formula. So, first let's go in with the Born Pretty one this time. So again, we're gonna take a nice amount. Again, that brush is really nice. Now I'm gonna apply. It goes on song. Oh, look at Gucci making an appearance. Oh, it's our cat. She never comes out. She's been a little more social ever since our other cat passed away. I got a piece of lint in there. Darn. Alright, we can work it down. We can work it down. Hold on. There it is. Spell that out. And now we got the beautiful top coat. Alright, so that's looking great. It self levels nicely. Now we're going to take top coat from our other brand. Hear those both 60 seconds. So while this is going, I definitely wanted to make sure y'all know that Born Pretty, this they made this exclusive upgraded formula to long last up to 45 days. It's anti-staining. So I know for y'all that you know do hair or work with a lot of type of colored dyes or things like that, it's anti-stain. The brightness and the shine is there and it has awesome scratch resistance so these are all definite reasons that you should probably check this out and also it is only $7.99 honey right now on Amazon we are back all right so these are out now I'm gonna let because I've read in the past that you should not really mess with and like touch or do anything to a top coat at least for two minutes so you shouldn't apply cuticle oil you shouldn't touch it you know or anything like that at least for two minutes because that will remove the shine so i'm gonna sit this down here so while this is happening, my loyal Diamond Cubs, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for being here. I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my big bear heart that each and every one of you, you know, will watch and comment. You know, some people like the video, which I appreciate. A few people have shared my videos, which I really appreciate. The more eyes we can get on the Berry Q Nails family, the better, honey. Let's grow, expand. It's going to be awesome. Also, please make sure your bell notifications are turned on. Um, the analytics say only about 20 something percent of y'all are um, got the notifications turned on. So make sure y'all do that, boo boos. Mwah. see there might be little micro micro scratches in there but okay that's one now let's do it on our other and the swatch stick is already looking kind of rough so let's see what this is gonna do
pull these up so y'all can see. Now I definitely do see some more scratches on the other one than on the top. Let me do it one more time just to make sure. They both getting it. They both. Alright. Just using my finger to just wipe off any dust that pops off. I definitely see a difference in luster. There is a lot more dullness in the other brands top and base coat. With Born Pretties, the shine is still there. The nail still feels smooth. The other one, I don't know if you can hear. It has like a, you can, it has texture. This one is glide smooth still. So that was my little test. Thank you, Born Pretty, for sending these over. I wanted to do this little test because they send it along with that last um, collection that I did, which was the, the Coral Ice Jelly. But I wanted to do a separate video featuring this because they claimed that it was no chip, no peel. You know, it stands up against scratches and all that. So I really wanted to test it against you know a well-known brand so you know this was the other brand that I used for anybody that shops online they may recognize based on the late on the cap colors but they're very reputable as well I'm not trying to bash them but I just wanted to do a comparison to born pretty's upgraded formula and it is a lot better I feel in the long run your manicure is gonna look fabulous and it's gonna last a lot longer using this upgraded born pretty base and top coat so that was all for today thank y'all for sticking around I love y'all sending kisses to all of you and pushing that positive energy out to all of y'all as always like a care bear <laughs> Take care, y'all. I love y'all. Peace out. Using my finger to just wipe off any dust that pops off. Look at that. I definitely see a difference in luster. There is a lot more dullness in the other brands' top and base coat. With Born Pretties, the shine is still there. The nail still feels smooth. The other one, I don't know if you can hear. It has like a, you can, it has texture. This one is glide smooth still. So that was my little test. Thank you Born Pretty for sending these over. I wanted to do this little test because they send it along with that last, um, collection that I did which was the the coral ice jelly but I wanted to do a separate video featuring this because they claimed that it was no chip no peel you know it stands up against scratches and all that so I really wanted to test it against you know a well-known brand so you know this was the other brand that I used for anybody that shops online, they may recognize based on the late on the cap colors, but they're very reputable as well. I'm not trying to bash them, but I just wanted to do a comparison to Born Pretty's upgraded formula, and it is a lot better, I feel, in the long run. Your manicure is going to look fabulous, and it's going to last a lot longer using this upgraded Born Pretty base and top coat. So that was all for today. Thank y'all for sticking around. I love y'all. Sending kisses to all of you and pushing that positive energy out to all of y'all.
kisses to all of you and pushing that positive energy out to all of y'all as always like a care bear <laughs> take care y'all i love y'all peace out